All right, hello everybody. Welcome to my first series on this channel. Uh, this is gonna be a series simply because I played, I believe, four games against Red One, pretty much back to back for me. I finished the game against Red One and then I got them again, uh, like four times in a row, uh, three times in a row, I guess. And they were all very interesting games. Uh, well, one wasn't all that interesting. Two weren't all that interesting, but uh, it's it's a nice series, you know. Uh, we, we get to learn more about him as it goes. And this here is going to be a quick prologue to get you guys interested. And it's going to have some context around why I want to build, uh, why I want to make this series. Uh, because this game is actually, as you can maybe already tell, not played by me. Uh, this is a game between NVZ and Red One. Uh, Red One is the bad guy here. NVZ, uh, Red One's also pretty famous, I think, on the Discord, pretty infamous for uh, liking a certain style of units, units that can shoot more than one tile away. Uh, and we'll go. Uh, I did not necessarily know this when we played, uh, but uh, I'll uh, go a bit deeper on it uh, once we get to the games we played. Um, and this is NVZ. NVZ uh, is also a Dutch Super Smash Bros. Melee player. And he's actually the one that introduced me to the website. So because of him, I am playing Tiny Wars a lot. <laughs> I'm playing a lot. And yeah, uh, this game was... Uh, I believe actually when this game was over, it was the first time I matched up with Red One. Um, and NVZ uh, sent some screenshots of this game in our chat uh, we actually also have a lot of uh, free-for-all games going with the dutch uh, meta community the skill difference is quite big but uh, the games are still very very fun in my opinion uh, we always go over them uh, if you guys want to see some uh, some of those FFAs, uh, let me know they're probably going to be very long videos not all that uh, uh, not all that interesting. I can give some context about uh, things that were said in the chat, of course. Uh, yeah, let, let me know if you would like to see some uh, free-for-all content uh, as well. Um, I, I'm not sure they are... The games are long. <laughs> they are long, long. They're like 6,000 actions long. Um, so they might not be ideal. Um, if there is like a really good one with like a very interesting storyline or something, <laughs> like some betrayals or whatever, I'm, I might choose that one. There's currently an 8-man game going that is very interesting, a lot of banter. Uh, some of the more uh, vocal members of the uh, Dutch Melee community actually decided to join who have, <laughs> who have never really played. And uh, there's some interesting decisions being made, it's it's very fun. Uh, anyway, back to, back to uh, the topic on hand. Um, Red one versus MVZ. So MVZ uh, was like me, a very much a beginner player. He actually played a lot less uh, advanced versions than I did. I played all the originals to death, uh, beating most of the hard modes. Uh, not not all the way through, but I did pretty much 100% uh, dual strike, which was definitely my favorite game. Uh, I did not like Days of Ruin that much. Uh, as, as a game I still don't, as a competitive game I like it actually a bit more than the, the original trilogy. Um, so shoot me, sorry, what can I say, I actually prefer the original games. Um, we can debate that some other time, but basically he really loves this game which is why he got into Tiny Wars and he converted me over here and I've been loving this site. So, uh, Obviously, I do have some love for it, uh, but uh, that's to say he is not very experienced. He doesn't really know about stuff like unit counts and stuff, and it's going to be very, very apparent. I'm going to go over this game very quickly. It is a semi-long game, but uh, it is realistically over in like five, six turns. So I'm just going to share a moment of disaster um, that happened and uh, how I felt when I saw that I was up against Red One next. So, uh, let's get started. We have a Tabata mirror. Tabata very strong. Um, so, uh, we're gonna have, uh, you know, normal openings. Uh, infantry, infantry. And then there's already a bit of a deviation. We have MVZ going not for the factory first. Now, this is of course a sin if you care about unit count. And you should care about unit count, especially in Vlogger, in my opinion. Um, 
So, still not interested in the factory. Um, also, uh, something... Yeah, okay. Still not interested in the factory. Um, uh, let's go over this turn a bit slower. You know, let's see if he goes for the factory this turn. No, it goes here, it goes here, it goes here, it goes here. And then he does something interesting. Oh, actually, he doesn't do it this turn. Wow, that is even the same. So, MVZ has a bit of OCD, is what I'm trying to say here. And he likes to wait all his units before entering his turn and buying new ones. Um, and then, this turn, he does just that. No, he just moves all his units. Still not all that interested in his factory. And then, all his units are moved. And he still has one, one unit that is idle. And what does he do? He clicks on it. And then he wants to make it wait. But he is too fast. He's playing on mobile. And disaster strikes. And we have Tabata in a gunboat. Now, to be fair, you know, this is a 120% Tabata gunboat. Nobody is capturing this HQ, right? And as long as we don't lose our HQ, we can't lose. So it's actually a five head move. But no, this is of course terrible, and the game is pretty much completely lost after this. Uh, combined with the fact that we're gonna be three units behind because we never got this factory. So I'm just gonna skip through the next couple of turns. We are actually sending this mech over here to take an extra turn to get to this factory. Uh, we're only gonna be able to build out of this factory at turn nine, uh, which is of course not good. Meanwhile, we have of course completely lost all Actually, pretty funny. <laughs> the the gunboat ate a hit from the Tabata tank. <laughs> Very fun screenshot in the in the chat. I can tell you that much. Um, and that's why when he called it actually a big brain move. You know, if you don't lose your HQ, like you don't lose the game. Uh, so yeah, we have a lot, a lot of fun stuff happening. I think Red One could have finished the game out a lot quicker. But of course, it's Vox, so you don't really know. Uh, what's happening and he played a bit cautiously and then he got Tabata active and didn't really use it that well in my opinion but it doesn't really matter Tabata is super power here nice little interceptor you know at this point he probably knew it was kind of over I don't think you ever build uh, an interceptor if you don't uh, know it's a fighter it's called a fighter in this game sorry you don't build a fighter if you uh, <laughs> uh, the fighter is not very good in this game. Basically, it's very expensive. Uh, and then let's let's watch the last turn play out. Even if this is the last turn, at least I'm very certain it might not be. Yeah. So this is the this. Uh, I believe uh, like it is of course completely over nine units less. So that is a very good resignation. And I watched this game, you know, and then I saw I had actually had to play Red One and I was like, you know, I'm probably uploading this video on uh, yeah, okay. I'm no I have to I have to avenge my fallen comrades, you know, like MVZ, he went down against Red One, who was at the point like 300 points rated higher than him, so it was definitely no loss to be ashamed of, uh, but uh, you know, got, got to step up for him, I'm next, got to, got to avenge him, got to, got to show the world what the Dutch Smash community can do, you know, so uh, I'm planning to upload this, uh, this video on July 12th, um, and actually on uh, this weekend, from 14th to 16th, 2023, I'm actually going to a um, Super Smash Bros. Melee tournament in England, and I am teaming with MVZ there. So uh, that kind of shows that we know each other quite well. And I'm looking forward to that. Uh, so this, the next videos might take a bit longer to upload. Um, but yeah, I, ho I hope you're excited for, for my games against Red One. They are great. Uh, the, there is the one, probably the best game on the entire site. I'm not even joking. Uh, <laughs> is among them, um, and uh, I will make sure to title that epic. 
uh, with a C this time because it is an epic game. Um, so yeah, that this is the preview. Uh, let me know what you think. Let me know what. You, uh, uh, yeah, uh, I I'm excited. You know, I was excited about the game. I needed to, I needed to take revenge. I had to show what the Dutch community is made of. And uh, yeah, join me for the next video in this series when I play my first game against the other one. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.